we've just arrived at Salvatura Adventure Parks. We are about to go on some hang bridges up here. Just gotta find reception. Look at what I've noticed already. Those clouds move so fast here. They're just rolling through. I hope my fear of heights doesn't get too bad today. And here we go. We are about to try the Salvatura Adventure Park tree walkways. Now, probably right about here is where I'm going to have a panic attack. So I don't know how I'm going to get all the way up here. <sighs> Be brave, Ben. Be brave. Feel it rattling. I'm okay if I just look straight ahead. Look <laughs> at sketchy that is. Ready? Yeah. Start jumping. This one gets super high up here through the middle. And look, this one's already falling off here. They're walking super slow. Nina's not impressed with the speed of the people in front of us. It's nice and cool here too because you got all the tree cover. Thankfully, because in the middle of the day, it probably gets up to 35 degrees. Thankfully, the humidity in this part isn't that bad either. Another thing necessary to note here, um, it really wasn't discussed in any YouTube videos or uh, online travel forms is the admission. This actual park is not part of a national park. It's a privately owned park. To do just this canopy tour costs you $30 US. As you're doing research, you don't really hear much about this park. You hear Monte Verde Cloud Forest and Santa Elena Cloud Forest. These walking bridges are not in those forests. Those are strictly trails. So, if you're watching YouTube videos and people are going on these Monte Verde Cloud Forest tours and you see them on these bridges, that's not part of Monte Verde. That's actually a separate tour. So, if you want to do it, be prepared to fork out money. I think like Monte Verde itself is maybe like 15 or 20 bucks US just for the admission and Santa Elena, probably around the same ballpark. This one's got new paint on it. Huh. La pintura para luego pintar. Ah, okay. It's definitely de-rusting and get the paint on. What do you think the safety code is? You think this one's up to code? A little, uh, a little dent there. So the one problem we've noticed with the park so far is a lot of people seem to be going different paces, yet it always clogs up at the bridge. So you're realistically not going to get a shot of an empty bridge, and if you are, you're lucky. I think most of the empty bridge shots you see are like on really foggy, cloudy days, which leads me to believe they're taking during the wet season. Right now we're at the tail end of the dry season. This is high season for travelers. Look how close you get to the trees, I can almost touch them. Look how 
far down that goes. Bridge number seven, that means it's the second to last one. I gotta say, as someone who's afraid of heights, this is surprisingly not too bad. Mainly probably because I can't really see beneath these heights too well. Um, and the trees come up really high, so it feels like you're within them. Thankfully, no panic attacks from Mr. Afraid of Heights on this trip. Checking out how far down that is, Nina. Checking out the river. Final one for the day, so we better enjoy it. He's doing a Superman head first. Look at that. Tiny bridge before we leave. Yeah. Oh, well, that's it. We're all done. The Selventura Adventure Park elevated walkway tour. 30 bucks US. Eight bridges. Eight bridges. How long did it take us? Just over two hours? Uh, About two hours with the wait we had to do. Maybe yeah. two and a half. Um, all in all, probably good value. 30 bucks seems high when you're in Latin America, but it's actually like really good value in the rest of Costa Rica because Costa Rica as a whole pretty expensive. Um, and when you think about how much you pay for like admissions to theme parks and things like that in North America, you're looking at 50 bucks around there. So good value for your money. Uh, and you don't get to see these type of bridges every day. So <laughs> thankfully I didn't have a panic attack, which yeah, surprisingly, you would actually have did really well. embarrassed you. Well, you did have a panic attack for like a little bit. Yeah, one of the bridges yeah. when Nina made me take a picture I in the photo middle. for the gram. So <laughs> anyways, now we are going to head over to Monteverde Cloud Forest.